today's action coming from Seaview, football supplied by the under-16s of Homeside Crusaders and Visitors Ards. And right from the off, all the pressure coming from the Crews. Indeed, the first hint of any danger came from the right foot of the Crews, number nine, with the Ards goalkeeper Evan Smith barely holding on. All pressure in the game early on coming from the Crews, and some neat interplay in the middle of the park between James Holland and Kyle Anderson was to lead to the opening goal for Crusaders. The goal, a real cracker from the right foot of Holland, stepping inside and giving the keeper no chance. Rain streaming down, Storm Bryan threatening to make an appearance. Could be in for a bit of a dirge today. It wasn't long, however, before the dominance showed by a determined Crusaders was to lead to them getting their second goal. Some neat footwork from number 10, Evan Kennedy, and a pinpoint cross eventually coming from Owen Black would be headed home by the number 11, Oliver McGrath, again leaving the keeper stranded in the middle of his goal. Crusaders 2, Ards 0. And that second goal was to lead to an inspired Crusaders. With confidence surging through the side, Jack Netherton was to almost make it three. The ball being sent out to the right wing. And from the resulting cross, the defender almost getting on the end. It could have been embarrassing for Ards. But it was deep into the first period when Ards themselves had a first sight of Ben Nichols' goal. A shot from number 12, Jordan Shearer, wasn't far away. Then at the other end, Jack Netherton watched his shot pushed over the bar. Some great goalkeeping in the Ards number one. Eventually took a bit of loose defending from Finley Keenan was the lead to the third Crusaders goal. Keenan himself getting on the score sheet, this time for all the wrong reasons. It was indeed his own goal that gave his goalkeeper no chance. Crusaders 3, Ards nil. Second half of this game was to offer promise for an improved looking Ards side. Indeed an early effort from Jordan Shearer coming back off the cruise upright. However the resulting rebound sailed right over the bar. And with Crusaders apparently still in the dressing room. Another Ards attack nearly finding the net. This time the strike from Adam Mann. A good save by Ben Nickel. He up until now hasn't had much to do. And from the resulting corner, I guess you could say a matter of time before Ards would find a goal. Number eight, Blake Bickerstaff causing mischief in the box. The Ards celebrations though somewhat muted. Longer this game went on though, the more chance cruises were going to get. And eventually their dominance started to show some confusion between goalkeeper and defender. Plus what proved to be a bit of a bad clearance from the goalkeeper and a wonder strike from number five, Kyle Anderson, was the seedless game for the Crews. A shot from 30 yards, made it four. Game eventually finishing, Crusaders four, Ards one. Absolutely over the moon. I think the football our boys played from start to finish was tremendous. We've seen it in some of the goals. The football, the work was outstanding. I think to be quite honest, they played off, off the park. They played ours off the park for the whole 70 minutes. A wee slip up in the end, disappointed that we give a goal away. But at the end of the day, I've just pulled the boys in there. They keep our performance up. There's no reason why they can't be up there fighting for the league at the end of the season. And ours are sitting top of the league, so it was a good win for us. The scene started brilliant. The boys have been tip top form. We had a wee slip up against Windmill, taking nothing away from Windmill with plenty of chances. We didn't take it. Windmill stuck the ball in the back of that. All credit goes to him. It's one of them things. It's all about scoring goals. We didn't do it that day. Yeah, definitely. First half didn't go very well. Second half a lot more positive. Tried to play a bit more football and got a goal back. Fortunately, we can see it right at the end. But, you know, far much better. Second half a lot more to work on. Very furious with the performance since the first half, but Gain just said to them, you know, stick at it, push on, try and play their football, be positive in what they're trying to do. Well, that was our first defeat tonight, which is a bit hard to take coming away and getting beat 4 1, but it's been going very well. This is probably the worst performance we've had so far, but it's an off night. 